Hey there, Jennifer with Iris Productions. I'm here to give you a tutorial on batch rendering. I'm going to just quickly show you uh, importing a CD, splitting the tracks, creating left and right, a small audio enhancement, and then how to batch render. So I will get to it, but I am going to go over a few previous things. First, you go to extract audio from CD if you have not. Click on that. Click on which track you would want or you can select all of them. I've already done this so I'm just going to say okay. I have found my uh, folder and I would just say save. It goes through this whole thing and you would just keep heading enter enter until you've gone all the way through your CD and have everything there. Now once you've uh, had your project open you import or unless they're already in here um, then you're ready to go. So I just left my project open and so here's my first audio track and you can see what has happened. Somebody has given me a CD to look at and see if I can do any enhancements on it. This is what it originally is pretty maxed out um, and then you know I noticed after listening to it and just visibly looking at the tracks you can see it's left and right. Uh, once I did record somebody's soprano and oh it could get really messy and if you didn't have the track separated, there could be a possibility that the soprano will override the piano and then you are in a mess of trouble. So what you have to do is you can go here and right click and you could copy your clip, paste it, what I actually did is right clicked on the track and I duplicated the track. Once you do that, you can click on all your clips, but I've already done this, so I'm just going to go on to one. Here's where you would adjust your channel. So I'm going to select left only, right only, and you can really see it's totally peaked. So I would just, you know, drag that down, all of them. I just really did the same thing while I was listening to it. And I was watching my levels where they maxed out. Uh, that was pretty good for me. But then what I actually did is I went into this track FX. And then here you have these different options, and I'm on the track EQ, and I just kind of messed around with each of them. I really don't know anything about this. All I do is go on here, and I figure high shelf, band low shelf, um, and then you can kind of go in between your frequencies, and then just um, listen to your clip as you're editing it and see, does it work? Does it not work? Well, that's what I did. So I'll give you a little listen uh, to what I did. I will uncheck both of these. put them back on so I think that sounds a lot better I actually I think I might just adjust track compressor. Something that I did was I took my output gain to 3, negative 3 dB. I'm going to just change that to 1 
negative 1 dB, and I am going to do the same on both tracks. Okay, so if you have soprano and you've ever had to do anything with it, um, you know, unfortunately, you have to just make sure that they're not maxing out and maybe your piano isn't really where you want it to be, but that's a lot of work and this is just kind of a quick, you know, we want to preserve the memories, but you really could go crazy with where you went um, with adjusting the audio with keyframes which I do have another tutorial. If you are interested in that, um, it's not on audio, soprano, it's just editing, you know, just normal footage of something that I shot anyhow. So, okay, once you do that, now you see these markers up here. Um, you can just double click and you hit R and it comes up with these markers and I can't really get into the hows and whys about that. I just do it. Double click R, double click R, double click R, double click R. You could name it if you wanted to. Double click. Okay, once you're done with that, now you've selected your regions that you want to batch render. You go to Tools, down to Scripting, check Batch Render, pop-up window. Uh, this window will come up now, and you'll browse for your area, and I apologize for that typo. And from there, now, if you had video, you'd have video options, MPEG, and then you can expand into it. And maybe it's widescreen, maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but whatever, just, you can select multiple ones if you want. If you're unsure, just test one. Don't go through all 12, putting those markers up. Just do two, or just do one. Select a bunch of these video files or audio files. Let it render out, and then you can select which one's best. You know, some I did that when I first started working with HD footage, so then I could just figure out which one looks best on my TV, you know, through standard DVD. And so I batch rendered, and it's really super helpful when you're talking about big, ginormous HD clips. But this is audio. So all that I have is audio options for my render. Okay, so underneath Wave, I'm going to create this right here, but if you didn't really know, you could always just go for a default template. And then I am also going to make... Well, I guess I'm just going to do an MP3. And I'm just going to say CD quality audio. So down here you have render project, render selection, render regions. And in this scenario, because I have selected each of the region, you want to have that selected. Otherwise, if you said render selection, it may just do from like 1 to 12, and then you have a bunch of gaps in between it. Um, so make sure you pay attention to that, because maybe you might render it out all night and not notice it. And then you have like one big ginormous clip that took, you know, eight hours to render. Anyhow, so you can just say, okay, from here, it goes through the render process, one after another after another, and you don't even have to worry about upkeeping on it. So anyhow, I hope you um, learned something from this. Please, if you have any feedback, I'd love some. If you have any suggestions, give me some. If you would like to subscribe to my page, Love it, and I'm always trying to make new tutorials um, with things that I come across, like stumbling blocks or things that I know that, you know, one day I had to look up and spend a lot of time figuring it out. So here it is. Thank you so much.